Armed men caught on camera ambushing terrified employees at gunpoint. This happened just after midnight at the Walmart off FM 2920 at Kirkendall. And investigators believe the suspects may have had inside information based on how they carried out that crime. And our Malini Basu joins us live in Northwest Harris County with new details this afternoon. Malini? Well, that's right, Len and Lisa. As you mentioned, deputies think this is an inside job, but they still have not found the man in question here. But the victim in this case, she's a 58 year old mother, a mother of two, who is working long overnight hours for her children who are in college. Bold and dangerous, and the armed robber in this video is dressed as a Walmart worker. A female employee had just finished emptying out some of the registers and was pushing a cart with all the money in it when she had a gun pointed at her. That's when he, you know, demanded the money. And the money cart was stolen. Lucy Taylor is the victim's mother. She got a call on the uh, in a gun, I guess, to pick up some, some kind of special thing, and she knew what that meant. Deputies think the crook was a former employee who used that intercom to announce a special code, signaling the real worker to go to the front of the store and collect the money. According to the witnesses, he was wearing a wig, sunglasses in the middle of the night, and from what I understand, he had lip balm or some kind of lip uh, gloss. After the suspect runs out of the store with the cart, his getaway driver pulls up. They struggle with it and then finally manage to stuff the thing in the trunk of the expedition. While that's going on, employees are yelling at them to stop. But then the suspect wearing the wig points his gun at them. Those workers and Taylor's daughter are still shaken. Mom is too. At first it was pretty rough, but I'm okay now that she's all right. And I hate to see you have to go through anything like that. Now the suspects were in this parking lot for at least one minute and the employees just watched in shock and no one was able to get a license plate number. Now coming up at five o'clock we will tell you about the struggle between the current employee and the former employee. For now we are live in Northwest Harris County. Malni Basu, KHOU 11 News.